Outlawed militias tossed 35 buses and also a train driver's cabin in Rio de Janeiro on the 23rd of October. These arson attacks, which paralyzed parts of the scenic Brazilian city, were in retaliation to the killing of a gang leader in a police operation earlier. A level 3 alert on a 5 level scale was declared by the city hall, warning residents of high impact incidents. 12 people were subsequently arrested, but 6 of them were released due to lack of evidence. So who are these paramilitary militia groups and how potent is the challenge posed by them? Our next poll gets more details. Rio de Janeiro is a seaside Brazilian city renowned for its beaches, but also known for its sprawling favelas or shanty towns. On Monday, Rio's west side was engulfed in chaos after a police operation eliminated the nephew and the right-hand man of a criminal leader of the largest militia group in the state. The nephew, identified as Mateo Silva Resende alias Faustão, is a known warlord. In apparent retaliation to the hard blow to one of the largest militias in the West, suspected paramilitary militias set fire to at least 35 buses. Though there were no casualties, the blowback represented significant defiance of the government. What we saw was a harsh response from this criminality, attacking the lives of citizens, burning buses and damaging people's lives. Organized crime, don't you dare challenge the state. Our contingency plan has been active since the early hours. The entire contingent of military police and civil police are on the streets. Public bus operators estimated the damage of 35 public transport buses to be maximum in a single day in the city's history. A train cab was also set on fire after the driver was ordered out. Consequently, the public transport in the city was briefly suspended. The city was on maximum alert with helicopters and drones deployed to reinforce the police presence on the streets. Rio's militias control about 10% of its metropolitan areas and have become one of the region's biggest security threats. But the problem isn't limited to Rio alone. It is very clear that this is not a problem limited to Rio de Janeiro. It is a problem in Brazil. It is not some isolated criminal organizations here and there. They are actual mafias spread through Brazil. Rio de Janeiro, Sao Paulo, Sierra, Bahia, Rio Grande do Norte. We see it spread every day. Emerging in the 1990s, these militias originally were composed of former police officers, firefighters and military men. Their cause was noble, to combat lawlessness in their poor neighborhoods, blighted by drug gangs. These neighborhood watch groups, though, soon metastasized into criminal outfits operating in multiple different rackets, including internet service, cable TV, transportation and construction. Increasingly, they have been involved in turf wars with drug gangs. Poor favela neighborhoods are often caught in the crossfire, not to mention the frequent police operations in these neighborhoods. The question on everyone's mind is, how long will this reign of terror continue in poor neighborhoods of Rio, home to more than two million people?